Okay. We've got a couple of things to do. Yeah, Sadu's sad. Time to go through some of these side quests. What am I looking for over here? Dastardly Diamites. So there's gotta be like a circle here. There's gotta be a marker here somewhere. Uh, Mel is too busy reading about Sadu doing things. Why is it over there? You got a marker there. Oh, that's Guesser. Never mind. Body matters less when the soul passes on. But the soul lives on, they say. These bodies, no more than empty husks, returning to the earth. Seen through those eyes, I suppose the sight is almost comforting. You're learning! Pardon me? When first I heard the tales, I could not help but scoff. Another queer tribe, I thought, with still queerer customs. Yet having borne witness to their rites, I cannot deny there is a certain logic to it all. A samurai will die for his lord without hesitation or regret. But this is not because he delights in such sacrifice. It is because he has faith his death will serve a higher purpose. There is an awakening in that instant. When the heart sings, and the blood burns, and his soul... His soul finds peace. There is comfort in that. Who's just hungry? Nay, we dare not permit ourselves that luxury, my friend. Tempting I don't think they're going to let you pet me. them. Not while our loved ones yet remain in chains. Well then, we must all be on our way, even Gesser. 
let us return to the Dawn Throne and pray that our tale is enough to satisfy our most radiant Traskmaster. Hmm, valid. Just a bit hungry. You're not pulling me back. Oh, okay. Meanwhile, at. Well, if there is a way out, I can't see it. Shame we didn't learn much before they locked us up. Tis little wonder the Oranir won the last Nardum. These people leave naught to chance. Hien, I've had something on my mind for a while, and now... In Alamigo, where I was born, I found it strange that for all the people who supported the resistance, there were just as many who didn't. But then we yeah. came to this part of the world and met with the Confederacy and lots of ordinary domains, and almost every single one of them seemed content to just put up with things, no matter how bad they got. They, they all had their reasons, of course, and, and it's not like I don't understand them, but the thought of it made me so angry. After everything they'd been through, everything the Empire had done to them, how could they not rise up? How could they not fight back? Because the risk is too much, kid. People are pragmatic creatures at heart. They hold on to hope only until they taste true hardship. Then comes fear and regret. Safer not to dream, I conclude at last. For even should a day go by without some new disappointment, the next will only bring more of the same. And so they choose the more sensible option. They learn to abide the indignities and injustices, the pain and the shame, to accept them as normal. Such is the lot of most men. One cannot expect to spur them to action at a moment's notice. Why not? Oh, right, because that's ridiculous. But if one who has known their pain can convince them to strive for something greater and rekindle the fire in their hearts, then they will remember what they have lost and they will rise. I had someone like that once. I didn't know who I was or who I wanted to be and he risked his life to show me the way. Then honor him by doing the same for others, with all your might and main. She's holding her neck where you know, the uh, tattoo when my is. When fell 25 years past, I was still in my mother's womb. Never have I known a free doma. All of the Scions of the Seventh Dawn have a tattoo somewhere on them. She was holding her hand to hers while thinking of Papalima. But my father did, as did many of my fallen comrades, as do many of my people now. It may be no more than a dream to me, but if I do not chase it, then who will? The way you carry it all, you're just the same. Hmm? As you? 
Oh, no, not me. Definitely not me. I meant the Warrior of Light. Out there, somewhere. Doing what needs to be done. She's having a growing moment. I won't have you put me to shame any longer. I'm going to seize the future I want. With my no, that's chat hands. that's having that bonding moment. You're ready to depart, I trust. Good. Then let us away. Uh, not exactly, but, you know, I got some stuff to do. She's made some progress on that front. What am I looking for in here? There we go. I had to run over... Really? I had to run over a specific spot? do enjoy what it replaces hello with. It's a very good kitty picture. Took some of the fatty meat we used to feed the cattle and spread around this area. The Nama Analas will be here shortly. I cannot resist anything that burns as easily as that. Here they are. Oh, come. Watch out. They're here. Yeah, it's cool. I got them. I, I see them get punched. I would uh, dodge that, but I don't care enough. Done. differs from what I'm used to. This is by no means unnatural. Thank you, Arkham. You've given me much to think about. I shall try and make use of what you have shown me in our practice journey. We'll be starting shortly. It's been quite a while since I took part. Say the gulo gulo. Gulo gulo. Welcome to the family, Brittany Bears, Nama's last sweet embrace. So it goes. It's less here than I thought. Get some gula gula down. One. Two. Three. Four. Okay, one 
more. This one will do. Damn it, paralyzed. Whatever, those are done. Let's go up here. I don't think I can access this, but let's find out. Yeah, we can't go in there yet. This gate needs to move first. Thank you for coming. I wish to deliver all of this to an Oyagir. You're doubtless wondering why I would aid someone from another tribe. When I was born, the Dothal Hatun looked into my eyes and did not see a soul she recognized. When this happened, it is thought that the soul of a noble warrior from another tribe has been invited to join the Dothal. This knowledge gave me no peace. I needed to know of my previous life set about researching the history of the other tribes. Eventually, I came across the tale of an Uyagiri woman, warrior, one that sacrificed himself to save an injured Dothal. Stand to reason such a benevolent spirit would become a Dothal in their next life. I am positive this warrior's soul resides within me. Today is his, my mother's name day. Her name is Sechen. I decided to give her this food as a present. However, in my excitement, but far more than I could hope to carry along. Over I need your help to transport the rest. My mother dwells in the 101 revolutions. At least I don't think I can... Yeah, you can't even... Can't bypass this right now. a dead end. Can't travel anyway. One quest, one location. It's the last marker. 523 to the south. Probably go looking for that one. Oh. I don't remember where it is, and I don't think it's accessible. Hydrate, you bastards! Hydrate! Oh, it's over that way. Where? Oh, is it in a cave? People demand more fluid. Seven to the south. Ah, oh, you missed again the one he said would be coming shortly. Oh my. This is much more than I ever dared expect. Look at all this fruit. Thank you so much. This is your name day after all. You should allow yourself to be pampered on this one day at the very least. Honestly, you do too much for me. I know that I am grateful. Your kindness reminds me of my son so very much. You chug. I take it he told you everything. As a new Yagir, I am not too familiar with the concept of reincarnation. As such, I cannot judge whether or not he is truly my son. One thing I do know for certain is that he has a, been a great help to me. Too kind. It's the son's duty to look after his mother. I've done naught special. Now that I think of it. I've not properly thanked you yet. Could not have delivered Mother's gifts without you. Here's a token of my gratitude. Oh. Okay. 
Damn it, now I want hot chocolate. Are you perchance with the melody of really with the melody of Seol Leon and our ancestors, those who lived before the gods, punished us, adored music. In order to pass on their favorite melody to future generations, they bored holes in the rocks that covered the plains of Seolain. The time has not been kind. The rocks have been so heavenly weathered that one can no longer hear anything other than the wind in the area. However, that is not to say it is completely lost. Soon is still passed on from parent to child. It is about time that I too did the same, but I recently broke my flute. First I thought of crafting a new one, but that would be far too greedy of me. If only I had two bars tusks. Oh, at this rate I will not be able to pass on the melody to my boy. Wow, how about you just ask me instead of passive-aggressively mentioning it? Ah, adventure. Could I ask you to collect something on my behalf? Recently asked the Dothal to supply us with meat. However, we've all been so busy of late, no one has had the time to go and collect it. His name is Kishili. I've already given him minerals in exchange for the food. You need only collect the meat. Welcome, good adventure. Ibaka told me you would be coming. She sees events long before they come to pass. However, she did not only see you. No, she also foresaw a great threat. True nature, this threat is yet unclear. But we know it lurks in the Uyagir Caves. Please investigate it on our behalf. remember if this is easily accessible. Well, southwest means it's like over this way. Mm, indeed. 54 to... Oh, you're like... Okay. Gear of adventurers taking care of their errands now. Never mind, here's the meat they ordered. Just between you and me, I truly do not understand that tribe. They're supposed to be celebrating, and yet they only ask for the scraps of meat and no one wanted to eat at our recent feast. Here they only eat mushrooms most days. Honestly, someone should tell them it was fine to treat yourself once in a while. Not that it's really enemy business, I suppose. You know, you could give me the sack of meat instead of leaving it right here and making me pick it up. Good lord. Last turn in time. Oh, hi, Sadu. Here you go, chat. We all know what you want. There you go. Well, as you no doubt saw, that did not go to plan. Surely no one will believe I am a legendary swordsman now. I don't understand. How could Mauchi of the Seven and Seven Swords be bested so easily? Wait, no, I didn't see now. He merely pretended to lose to lure his opponent into a false sense of security. Do not hold back. You insult me.
do you, any of you know about Mauchi? He is weak. Simply forcing him to fight will change nothing. I'm an acquaintance of Mauchi's. I am Hulan. I've been friends with Mauchi ever since we were little. I know him better than most. Doubtless heard all about how weak he is. All right, I want to change his life for the better. Would you be willing to help me? I'll think about it. Dotharly, Dotharly child is born. Hatun looks into their eyes to determine who they were in their past life. Rarely is the Hatun wrong. However, I can only think she made a mistake with Mauchi. Truly, have you seen him hold a blade? I have displayed his lack of ability. Mauchi himself simply refuses to give up. He blames himself when it is not his fault. Silence, you cannot understand. Mauchi, I know you are disheartened. You just lost in combat. Put down your sword and relax by taking a well-earned bath. Because you're stinky. I have a better idea. There's something just somewhere just outside of the village I would rather visit. Archon, would you join me? There's something I wish to discuss. Speak with him. I don't think you would appreciate my company at the moment. I mean, you basically just showed up going, You suck! Everyone's wrong! You ain't a famous swordsman. Why do you think he'd like hanging out with you? Yes, Toph? The deed is done? Good. Now our sheep can rest easy. As you may have noticed, the Gula Gula is a wily creature. It lures his attackers into a false sense of security. We are springing a trap to them. That was how my brother met his end. Well, they are intelligent. They are still beasts. But one must be careful when attempting to slay them. Many of Dothral was mistaken recklessness for bravery. Losing their lives in the process. I imagine our warriors would benefit from studying someone like you. I'll make sure to teach my brother not to be so foolhardy in his next life. Thank you for your aid. I shall make sure we do not require outside help the next time a Gula Gula appears. Oh, okay. I mean, you do you. Beasts have been slain. You have my thanks. If the Diamites only attacked warriors such as ourselves, this would not have been such a problem. But they will prey on anyone. Women, children, matters not to them. I will not stand for this. They must not rest until they have been eradicated from the area. You can't just say that and not continue. Thank you for helping me to dispatch the first few of them. Take care of the rest.